And it's Osgood now for Southampton. And that a real let off in the first minute for Southampton. The shot was at point blank range of the goalkeeper. He should have held it, but he beat it down. And there was no one there to snap it up. Houston, Greenhoff switching play intelligently. Gordon Hill, attacking Rodriguez. The first chance he's had to do it, and he turned him. Test! And again, it's spilled out of the goalkeeper's hands. And McElroy couldn't pick it up. Stokes, robbed by Daly. Good ball, and he's onside Hill. And Turner earned the money then and made up for the two blunders earlier. Southampton were caught, and Turner was quickly out to the rescue. But the United move was promising. Now the carry out for Shannon, a brilliant ball. And Stepney, the most important cup save he's made since the Benfica European Cup final in 68. Stepney then, between United and disaster. Shannon was not offside, and that clearly the most open chance of the match. So Gordon Hill will take this corner. Swinging awkwardly and suddenly got a touch and off the bar for McElroy. The ball was back-headed then, skidded off uh, somebody's head and McElroy hit the bar. Shannon number eight. McCallion. Shannon. Got where he's most dangerous, and nobody closed him down. That's Shannon, just making enough space. Nobody could get to him, and the shot wasn't all that far away. Peach. Stokes. McCallion. Holmes. Stokes. Southampton put it together then. Cabner with advice uh, along the line the experienced Ted Bates who first joined Southampton I think it was back in 1937 McCarrier to Stokes who's onside one nil Southampton go mad and on the bench they celebrate by scoring the first goal in this final, wins for himself a car, and he said he'd already booked driving lessons. Now, was he offside when that ball was played? They'll complain for years, possibly, about that, but when he got there, he slotted it in, wins himself a car, and puts Southampton into the lead. It's Greenhock, offside again. Played about 30 seconds of injury and stoppage time. And the whistle has gone, and Lally McBenemy and Southampton take the cup for the first time in their history.